Do we have things? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have mail. Oh my god, Janine, we got mail. Thanks, guys. Oh, we're so thank excited. You. Um, we're gonna. So excited. <laughs> so exciting. Where are we off to now? We are off to the thrift store. Are you on the lookout for anything in particular, Janine? Uh, anything cool. Anything cool. All right, let's see if you can find anything cool. All right, guys, we've got the first Easter stuff hitting the shelves. Easter, you know, not really. Easter is a little bit harder to find vintage at the thrift store. Um, usually, you know, Christmas and Halloween, we had the best luck. Speaking of Halloween, we got a pumpkin peel. This one's interesting because it has the um, sticker face. A little harder to find. A candle? Yeah, a like a wax candle. candle. Cinnamon scented. That's like from the 90s, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Made in China. really funny. Okay. You gonna show me? Yeah. Something cool. A little cool. ceramic bunny candlestick um, holder within all these little, little squishy bags. bags. That's an interesting <laughs> bag. Oh, funny. oh, look at the Santa. Oh, well, squishy, and then there's this ceramic. Bag. It's not marked, so. Um, I don't know, it's probably Taiwan or something, but. That's so random. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I really like that little tiny pumpkin man. Pull him out. Ooh, this is cute. This is fun. Uh oh. That's sort of cute. Made in China? Uh, yeah, it's made in China. It's so cool. I like the packaging more than the. Wow, it was originally ceramic. 99 cents um, at some place. Probably from like the 90s. What our Pink colors is today? 25% off. Yep, our colors. Can you guys see through here? Flora? Pink, yellow, and orange. <gasps> what? Another one. Another one. A different one. Tower of Terror. It's got little sp springy things coming off of it. Let's see if it's all in here. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, this one fell off. But is it in there? there? Let's see. What is it supposed to have? A bat? Oh, yeah. There he is. That's it. So we'll just be glued back on. I like this one a lot. This one's, one's really fun. Yeah, one's really cool. This one's really colorful. It would be easy to fix too. It would be easy to fix made in China. Yeah, they're they're really cool. I like this one. Um, 25% off. And it's, oh, this one's only 99 cents, Shane. What? I wonder why they're different prices. Two different people might have priced them. It's cool. I like Are this one. Are you gonna get it? Um, I don't know. I like that tree. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll put it in the box and I'll think about it. Bye, I gotta go looking. We grow too soon, old, and too late smart. Okay. <laughs> Guys, do I spot a left in bunny? I'm just finding these all the time. What is on him though? Napco where I thought he was a left in, but he's a Napco. He does have a little chip nose though. And ear and no price on him. I'm gonna put him with my stuff and think about him though look what we have hidden here guys behind these baskets is a pumpkin pail now if you guys are new to our channel we are always after the pumpkin pails we are on pumpkin patrol we never leave a pumpkin behind and this one's a special one because it has these metal rivets which means that this is a little bit older from the 80s or so it does have a little condition issue right there. I don't know what's going on, um, but a pumpkin pail like this with the rivets in good condition can go for like 10 to $15. Actually, these with the square teeth are even a little harder to find than ones with pointy teeth. So this is like a medium rare <laughs> pumpkin pail. Not the rarest, but not the most common. There she is on the toy aisle. Where else would we find Janine but the toy aisle? Janine in the toy aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cool this guy is. It's like MC Hammer or something. He must be somebody, right? Look yeah. at those pants. Maybe MC Hammer? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I used to have these. These little bunnies. Like the terry cloth bunnies. My mom had a bunch of these. Oh. 
Anything good? Um, well, I haven't really thoroughly checked. Okay. So, um, I don't know yet. Oh, I want to look in the plush. Oh, look at little space Snoopy. Oh, he's got a helmet. Oh my God, that's so cute. I could even take this helmet and put it on a Santa. Uh, I guess it's sewn on. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. Last time we were here, we found a really, well, Janine actually found a really cool vintage lion plush. I'll put a link above for you guys to see that, but that was really, really cool. And now I always have to check the plush. Nothing too exciting. Not a lot of plush in general here. Sometimes it's packed. Hmm, doesn't look like anything. Just pick this up, this is pretty cool. Teddy Ruxpin VHS tape. Look at that. I have never seen this before. 1987. Hmm. Have to look that up. I'm also on the lookout for a pen holder or container of sorts for our desk. Um, so that's what I'm on the lookout too. We do shop for our own house goods and stuff at the thrift store, just beyond, um, you know, holiday. These are so cool. These are glasses or um, I guess like light covers, you could call it. Screws into a light fixture. I really want these in our future home. I always am tempted to like pick them up and hoard them until we need to use them, but um, I haven't done it yet. This caught my eye. This is sort of fun. It has a crack in it. $2.99. This was from Michael's in 2005. It's got a cute look to it. Too bad it's broken. What is this? A sugar bowl? A sugar bowl with no maker's mark. That is very interesting. Also doesn't have a top. Or a spoon. Hmm. What'd you find? Teddy Ruxpin uh, VHS tape. Cool. Teddy Ruxpin. Guests of the grunge. Guests of the grunge. Of grunges. 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 I didn't grow up with Teddy Ruxpin, but I know he's like collectible. If you find the actual bear, right? Yeah, I don't know anything about these VHS tapes. That's cool though, it's really good condition. So like I suspected, this guy is MC Hammer. It's a MC Hammer Barbie doll. Um, pretty cool to find it, but for $7.99, um, he just doesn't sell that well outside of the box without all the accessories, so I'm not gonna get them. What do you have there? Do you know what this is? I think it's like a chip and dip or something, mid-century thing. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's for a Pyrex set, I think. Oh. You'd have the big bowl here and the little bowl here. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I don't know if this has a resale value on its own, but I mean, imagine if you were a collector and you needed this and it was here at the thrift That's store. so cool. It's $4, 25% off. I'm gonna look it up on eBay, make sure I'm not missing out on anything too amazing, um, but pretty cool to see, you know? Yeah, it's definitely cool. I wonder if the bowls were here separately and marked separately and somebody uh, bought them. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, but I thought this was pretty fun to just see on the shelf. Yeah. Okay guys, so I am not gonna get the pumpkin no. because of the condition issue. Um, and I just want a pristine pumpkin to resell this year. So because he's not pristine, I'm gonna put him back. I think we're gonna find a lot more later in the season. And I'm also gonna leave behind the bunny because of the condition issues as well. So we'll put them back on the shelf. 2011. Oh, 2011, that's pretty new. It's still cool though. Wow, look what Janine just found. I don't know if it works. Mm -mm. That's still pretty cool. $15? Yeah. It looks like it's in good condition, but... Yeah, a little dirty. That's so cool. Yes. Guys, look at this giant brat's head doll. I might have had one of these. I don't think... I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like I would have remembered if I had her. I had the other smaller dolls. Wow. She's something found this bag of little figures on the toy aisle. I noticed this little 
Christmas mouse. How cute is she? I'm going to show Laura this mouse and see if she knows who made it or something. Oh. From 87. She's a good one, Janine. She's from 87. She's 399, which I don't think is too bad for, you know, a personal a pickup. personal pony. Personal pony. <laughs> um, and she's really cute. She's really cool. She's got a little, um, what is ice that thing cone. called? Ice cream cone. She's got some, is that supposed to be there? The pink? I don't know, but I have cleaned up, um, my little ponies before. Mm. So. If anything, they could be little pink, uh, freckles. Yeah. She's really cute. I might she's have to cool. get her. I also found a cupie. A cupie? Is that a real cupie? Not sure. I just wanted to show you. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's a cupie. That's still a cute pee. <laughs> and then look what I found. This little Christmas mouse. Oh, little Christmas mouse. Stuck in this bag of other little things. Yeah, like look at that. Like that little worm with a little bonnet. A little worm with a little bonnet. Four dollars. It's so tempting just for the worm in the bonnet, to be honest. <laughs> the worm in the bonnet. <laughs> I love that. All right. Good finds. Did you see um vintage Mickey and Minnie over here? No. Um, Minnie's right over here. She's cute. And then Mickey is right over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll put them That's next cool. to each other. Move over, Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann's trying to impede. Cute. Yeah. That's fun. Wow, she's missing the accessory. Wait, but yours that? They're from 95. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's like a Ken. He's got such a cool outfit. Stylish. Would you yeah, wear that? I wear all of it. Yeah. She looks like she's having fun cleaning the house. <laughs> like me. This is cool. A first look at dinosaurs. Weekly Reader Children's Book Club. Can you open that yep. for me, please? Will you read it to me in the store? Sure. Okay. Millions of years ago. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Dinosaur lived millions of Dinosaur? years ago. Dinosaur? Dinosaurs lived a million. You know what? No. <laughs> Read it. I want to see. Are there any color pictures? Oh, it's all black and white inside. That's cool though. I like that. I found something. What did you find? Oh, I found Gus. Stop. Yay. That is so cute. Gus. This is the second time I found a Gus um, ghost book. But look, he's an artist. This, this one, he's an artist. That's so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. I have to look through the books. That was such a good find. I was here looking earlier. There's a lot of older books. What is this? Sweet pickles. Sweet pickles. Wow, Janine, congrats. Thank That's you. great. That was a great find. What is this? Oh, that's cute. That's me, the turtle on the motorcycle. What year is this? It, was, it belonged to Becky. And it's from 78. Wow. Somebody donated a bunch of old books, I think. The haunted house. Oh boy, we're going to be here for a while. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I suggest you go get something to eat and meet me back here. But then you're going to find all the good books. <laughs> no problem, but I want to find some good books. Wow, I can't believe you found that Gus book. I'm so excited. Happy for you. Ramona. Bimby. Yeah, some older books here. Can we find another Gus book? Looking through books is hard. You gotta look through every single one. Look at this guy's 1998. Is it called Ties or TYs? It's Ties, right? I always read both ways. Oh. Ties Beanie Babies Collector Value Guide. Wow. Not anymore. 
That's funny. We want to give a big shout out and thank you to Susan, Chelsea, and Daniel, who has a channel at Second Chance Love. Go check him out, guys. He does a really fun and exciting thrift hauls and shop with me's. Um, go check him out. But thank you guys so much for the letters. We really appreciate them. We had so much fun reading them. And if you guys want to send some letters or packages, our PO is in the description. Maybe we'll do a mail day one day. And before we hop into the haul, I want to let you guys know that we are having a small vintage Valentine's Day card pop-up sale on our website, vintageglowshop.com tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys want to check it out, um, hop on there at that time and we'll have a bunch of vintage cards available. As far as the haul goes, this is the only piece that I picked up. It is a chip and dip set. I thought for sure this was Pyrex, but I uh, asked our Instagram following Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram too. Um, and somebody reached out right away and had the screenshot of what set this is actually from. And it was from a false graph, which oh. I thought was really surprising. I would have thought Pyrex for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it was just too like mid-century and atomic looking almost to leave behind. This pony smells like candy. I don't know if that was original, but she smells, she still smells like, um, you know, like the candy necklace. Mm. She like smells a smarty. like that. Yeah, she smells just like that which I find really interesting. But this is a vintage My Little Pony, which I'm so excited to have found. I'm growing a little collection of them. <laughs> um, this one is from 1987, made in Hong Kong. And this is a Gen 1 pony, actually a unicorn. And I don't know how many of you out there use the Google Lens app, but it is so good for the thrift store because I would have normally gone and typed in like My Little Pony, Unicorn Blue, all these things. And it, you know, it takes a few minutes sometimes to find the answer. All you do on the Google Lens app is, this is not sponsored or an ad or anything. It sounds, <laughs> Google sponsor. <laughs> it just sounds so, I'm like Google Lens app, but it's not. Um, all you do with the app is just that you like hold it, you take a picture of it and it searches Google for the, um, the image and the product or whatever and i found what this pony was so easily that's amazing so i'll put a screenshot here of what these ponies can sell for i believe this one on ebay goes for like 10 to 15 dollars wow. which is really good um not all ponies go for that some are a little bit cheaper in this condition probably a little less mm -hmm. but she's gonna stay with me you said she was a personal pony right she's a personal pony so yes. you're gonna keep her yeah she's really <laughs> cute um I'm just really happy about that. I also used the the app to find, I had to get it. Oh, how do I even show this? I guess I can just like. Yeah, and hold it up like, like right here. I had to pick up this little worm with a bonnet. I mean, not every day that you come across that. No, so I, again, I had no idea about this. We searched it and we found out that it is you searched on Google Lens. Yeah, I'll actually like, I can show. So this is what pulls up when, when I searched for this little worm. Using you can, Google Lens? Google Lens. Mm. And right away, <laughs> I know what it <laughs> is. Rather than searching tiny ceramic worm wearing a bonnet, <laughs> um, it pulls up that it is a Hagen Reniker worm in a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> and there's tons of them. So now that's something I can look out for. Um, and they, they do sell for a couple bucks. Remember we were looking mm -hmm. on, on eBay and you can buy the, they were wearing, super excited. I gotta slow down. I'm so excited about this stupid <laughs> worm. Um, we were looking on eBay and there were little worms wearing all different types of things. Hats and different accessories. So exciting for me and something now to look out for. And um, I just couldn't, it's got a little smiley face. It's just exciting. <laughs> So in that bag, there were a few other things. You saw that there was the Christmas mouse. This is actually part of a three mouse set. She's really cute. It's made by Napco, I believe. And then these also were in there and these are also the um, Hagen Reniker. Oh, okay. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, dogs, which when I was a little kid, I actually had the puppy version of this one and it's like in a little dog's like like play position it's so cute i have two of these 
And these can sell for like $10 on their own. And another thing that was in there were these little plastic like Lucite type toys. And this one is actually marked Hong Kong Snoopy. Oh wow. Very interesting. And there's two other ones, a little uh, elephant, and then this thing that I guess is a bear or something. I don't know what it is, a mouse? Mouse? Um, it's something. So that was interesting to find all in that one bag. I was so excited to find this Gus book. It's really cute. It's Gus was a gorgeous ghost. And spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know what goes on in this book, I'm gonna tell you in a second, but basically Gus normally wears a white sheet like every other ghost, but he puts on a colorful printed sheet. And oh, how cute. So it, it's really cute. I haven't read the whole thing, so I don't know if it's really good or not, but- That doesn't matter, <laughs> It doesn't right? matter, because but it's Gus. It's Gus, it's cute. So what I found really exciting about this is that it's a vintage Halloween book and if you're someone who likes to collect like Halloween children's books or Halloween books like I do, this is something that you don't really come across that often. Um, and it's got some great graphics. It does. I'll show you inside a bit. Cute. <laughs> like how so cute, cute is that? And then the back is all colorful. That's fantastic. So it was really cool to find. It's from 1978. Oh wow. It has a resale value of like 15 to $20, so. So it was great to find for $2.99. And thank you so much for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye!